You are awesome. You've just finished that ride and now you are taking the time to include the dessert, AKA the stretch, which is just as important as your training. So we're gonna get right into this full body stretch. So go ahead and press down on your brake here, stopping your feet. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna start with some upper body stretching and then move our way down. So from here, we're gonna take those arms open and we're gonna take one arm across. As we take that arm across, we're gonna look over our shoulder. So hand is gonna be in the opposite direction from the way we are looking, keeping those shoulders relaxed and breathing. We're gonna hold each stretch for about 30 seconds or so. That's gonna give that muscle time to relax and release and also start to increase our flexibility. Breathing here, we're just gonna switch it over to the other side in three, two, and one. So taking those arms open again, other side, looking over that shoulder, taking that arm across, keeping those shoulders down and breathing. We're gonna hold this about 10 more seconds, then we're gonna reach up towards the sky. Good, so in three, two, one, we're gonna clasp our hands, reach up to the sky, just holding this one for a second, just kind of letting those arms stretch out, reaching towards the sky. And then from here, we're gonna let those arms fall down behind us, clasping your hands behind you here. And as you stretch and pull those arms back, you're gonna look down. So bring that chin down towards your chest, breathing and holding, really stretching those arms back, opening up the chest. Keeping those shoulders down though, so we don't wanna scrunch the shoulders up towards the ears. Keep everything relaxed. And then as you breathe and exhale, try to take that chin even closer towards your chest, feeling a nice stretch through your neck. We're gonna hop off the bike next, stretching out through the back. Let's hold it for three, two, and one. From here, we're gonna unclip our feet, hop down off of the bike, and we're gonna take our arms up onto the seat. So elbows on the bike. We're gonna take our hands together here. Walk those feet back, back is flat. We're gonna drop our ears down in between our arms, driving your bum to the wall behind you, slight bend in the knees, and just feel this stretch right here. All through your back, fingertips pointing up towards the ceiling. Breathing, nice little stretch down the hamstrings as well. Again, keep that back flat. Don't let your back round here. Squeezing that belly button into spine. Holding it for about three more. Two and one, let's bring it up. We're gonna go into a sumo stretch next to open up our hips. So we're gonna take those legs out, toes out, and we're gonna lower down. Lower down here, take your elbows right above those knees and just open up here in the hips. Really taking some time to stretch through the hips is really good after a cycling workout because we are in that seated position. Hip flexors can get tight. So loosening up the hips after your ride, so important. We're gonna add a stretch next that I have been adding into my stretching routine that I absolutely love. Another hip opener, one for the inner thighs as well. We're gonna use the bike for this, but you can do it on the ground as well. Ooh, we're gonna bring it up and get into that stretch here in three, two, and one. So from here, what you're gonna do is take that leg up onto the bike. So it's like here, um, the arch of your foot will be on the bike. We're gonna hinge at the hips here, slight bend in the knee. So almost like if you're doing it on the ground, you're doing a lateral lunge. So you're bending into that leg. So this is that modification on the ground, but if not, leg is up on that bike, drive those hips back, back flat, core engaged and just feel this stretch through that inner thigh here into the hip. We're gonna bring this to stand next, keeping that leg up on the bike or keeping your foot down on the ground. Ooh. Breathing, try to take that a little bit deeper, drop that bum. Bringing it up here in three, two, one. So from here, either keep that leg on the bike and reach up and over or keep that leg on the ground and reach up and over here. So two options. But keep your body here nice and long and then reach up and over, walking that hand down towards your ankle. And then as you exhale, you can try to take it a little bit deeper. Whew. Legs still a little shaky from the ride, but 
<laughs> feels so good to stretch it out here. <sighs> Next stretch, we're gonna walk to the other side of the bike and do these same two stretches on the other side. <sighs> so let's get ready to walk it around here in three, two, and one. So you have those same two options where you can keep it on the ground the entire time or bring that leg up. So taking that leg up, walking that leg out, bending that knee, driving that bum back, back flat, core engaged. And again, just feeling that nice stretch through the inner thigh, through your hips. Don't forget to breathe with your stretches. Good, again, if you can try to take it a little bit deeper, drop that bum down. Oh, I love this stretch. It just feels so good. If your muscles could write you a thank you note, you'd have a letter in the mail tomorrow. They are gonna be so glad that you did this. We're gonna bring it up and reach overhead in three, two, one. So again, you can keep that leg on the ground or take that leg to the ground, but we're gonna reach up and over here. So again, keep that body nice and long as you reach up and then over, walking those fingertips down towards your ankle and breathing. And as you exhale, you can try to take it a little bit deeper. So many benefits to stretching. That's why just as important as the workout is this stretch here. That's because number one, it's gonna help reduce muscle soreness after your workouts. It's gonna help prevent injury. It's gonna increase your flexibility and mobility. And I mean, that's perfect for everyday life because you know, we're getting stronger here to be stronger out there. Oh, let's bring it up three. Two, reach it tall, and a one. Now we're gonna hold on to the bike and we're gonna do a kneeling hip flexor stretch. So we're gonna take it down one leg out, one leg back, legs, or forward knee here at 90. Same with the back here. And we're gonna take, hold onto the bike, and from here, tuck your hips under. So just, it's a very simple move, it's a very small move, but we're gonna tuck the hips, squeeze the glutes a little bit. What you're gonna do is you're gonna feel a stretch down through that hip flexor and a little bit here into the front of the legs. So again, when we're training on the bike in that seated position, can really tighten up those hip flexors. So we want to make sure that after we are taking the time, giving the attention to pretty much every body part, but again, those hip flexors from that seated position. And we're gonna get to the hamstrings, we're gonna get to the glutes and the quads, because those make a big, those, those are our powerhouses when it comes to cycling. We're gonna switch it to the other side in three, two, and one, Ooh. so just relax it. Other side, now the other leg comes up, both legs here at 90. And from here, tuck those hips under. So squeeze, tuck it under. Just a nice little roll forward with those hips and then push forward. Good, and breathing, keep that chest up. Head is up. and breathe, don't forget to breathe. Just relax, let your body start to calm down, let your mind start to calm down, just take in everything that it just worked for. We're gonna get ready to bring it up for our hamstring stretch next. Now this is where you can use the bike if you'd like, or you have the option to do it on the ground and I'll show you that. Let's bring it up in three, two, and one. So let's bring it to stand. Now for the ground option, you're gonna take one leg forward, hands on that opposite leg, and you're gonna fold forward here at the hips, keep that leg out long. Now if you wanna use your bike, you've got the handlebars, the seat, or right in between, you're gonna take that leg up, and then fold forward, and exhale as you fold forward. This is another stretch, we're gonna hold it, and then as you breathe, just try to take it a little bit deeper with each breath. And that's the reason we're holding these stretches for 30 seconds, I mentioned at the beginning, but again, just a little reminder, take some time for our muscles to relax and actually start to release and allow that flexibility in. So that's why we're holding it. And this is called static stretching. This is ideal after your workout. We're gonna bring it up and switch it over here in three, two, and one, bring it up. Let's take it over other side, so same option on the floor or using your bike, and then fold it forward. So same thing as you exhale, just try to take it a little bit deeper, keeping that back flat so you don't wanna round your back here. Make sure you're keeping everything nice and long and folding forward. 
Now, static stretching, again, is something you want to do after your workout. You don't usually want to include static stretching before because that can actually increase your risk of injuries when your muscles are all warm and then you go into an exercise. If you're gonna add stretching before, dynamic stretching is the way to go before to warm up. That's a, that's a stretch where you kind of move through the exercise or the stretch, but we're not holding it. Gonna hold it for three, two, and one, let's slowly bring it up. We're gonna hold on to our bike now. It's try time to hit those quads. So holding onto that bike, bringing that ankle up, keeping your shoulders relaxed. Knees here in line. So you don't want your knee coming forward off to the side. Try to keep everything nice and straight here. Chest is up. And to get a little bit of a deeper stretch into this one, here's the trick. Squeeze the glutes. So squeeze the glutes right here. You feel that? <laughs> As soon as you squeeze the glutes, it's like, hello. You feel that all down the front of your leg. So breathing again, just tighten up those glutes. Feel that stretch. We're gonna switch over to the other side next. Holding it about five more. And let's gently let that leg come down, switching it up to the other side. Hey, we are well over halfway through this stretch already. Keep that chest up. Wanna make sure both sides are even. So again, squeeze that glute muscle, tighten it up there. Feeling that deeper stretch through the front. Breathing, holding it for 10. We're gonna hit the glutes next. Another one of my favorite stretches actually after a cycling workout, can't go without this one. Let's relax it in three, two, and one. Now holding onto the bike here, the handlebars and the seat for this one. We're gonna take, cross that leg over. So ankle is gonna come right above your knee and then we're gonna sink down, just like you're sitting into a chair here. Now with this stretch, make sure you're not rounding, hunching your back. Keep that back flat, keep that back straight, and then just use the handlebars here for some support, but also to give you a little bit leverage to lean forward into this one just a bit. Again, with a flat back, we don't want that back rounding. Oh, this one feels so good. We're gonna hold it about 10 more, then we get to switch it up to the other side. Let's bring it up in three, two, and one. Take it up, other side, so same thing. Holding onto that bike, taking that leg across, ankle comes right above that knee, and then sink it down. We'll hold it for about 30. Stretching is something that you can do every day if you've got the time, even if you just take five, 10 minutes a day to kind of hit those major muscle groups and then you have some days during the week that you can take the time to work longer at, like this is gonna be a nice stretch after our cycling days. So I would highly encourage you to do this stretch every time we do a cycling workout. And then I have some shorter stretches if you'd like to add those during the week. But I'm telling you what, stretching, oh, so good. And if you've been stretching with me, you know that it is just one of those things that you're like, now that you do it, you can't go without. You will see a huge difference. It makes everything so much easier, especially when you wake up in the morning when you're like, oh, I'm tight, ah. But when you start stretching, it's different. Let's bring it up here. Final stretch, one side for each. We're gonna do our calf stretch. So from here, you're gonna find that post right below your seat. You're gonna take, here's the post, here's your foot. You're gonna take one foot up, take those toes up onto that post and then lean into it. That back leg right behind you here. And from here, you can hold onto the seat, keeping a flat back, lean into it, or take and reach farther. This is gonna give you a little bit of a deeper stretch. Reach for those handlebars. Again, as you do this, breathe and exhale. So good. There it is, and let's just hold it. Final stretch, we're gonna switch sides in three, two, and one. We'll bring it up, switching over to that other side. Oh, this feels so good, I don't want it to end. So again, you can hold onto the seat or exhale, try to take it a little bit deeper, keeping that back flat. But well, we're gonna enjoy this one. I, this is also one of my favorite stretches. 
<laughs> is every stretch your favorite? Yep, it is. <laughs> you know, stretching is is challenging though because it, it kind of, it, it's not painful, but when you are working to increase your flexibility and get those stretches in, it, it is. It's like a little uncomfortable and that's okay. It should be a little uncomfortable. It should never be painful, but it's just, oh, you, you're going to start craving it after your workouts, even during the day, just when you're sitting there hanging out on your phone, perfect time to stretch. I love reading and stretching. It's one of my, it's one of my things. <sighs> Let's bring it up here in three, two, and one. Oh, again, this was so fun. I'm so glad we could stretch together. Stay consistent with your stretching, with your training, and you are gonna see the most amazing improvements you've ever seen in your life. I love you so much. Thanks for stretching with me. Thanks for having dessert with me. I love ya.